Okay, so I think I have all of the materials that I need to build the mini backyard foundry. This is a six gallon bucket. I have a smaller bucket. I think it's either two and a half gallons or three gallons, so just for scale. Here's a one gallon jug of water, five gallon bucket from Home Depot. Half some plaster of Paris, it's about $15. Play sand from Home Depot, this was about $3.25. This clay graphite crucible is about $30, $20-$30 on Amazon. This was a bucket on clearance from Hobby Lobby. Got some kale wool. This brand, I believe, is made in USA for safety, safety goggles, and a mask. And long sleeves and pants. Okay, so my thoughts on how to assemble this. I would have a layer of plaster and sand everywhere, followed by a layer of the kale wool, another layer of plaster and sand. So the crucible will be sitting on the little stand that I make. Now I thought about making a propane foundry, but I decided that I'm gonna do a charcoal foundry first and see how that goes. I can always convert it. I almost forgot about the air intake, so I have a one inch diameter steel pipe and it's not galvanized, which is ideal. It's also cheaper since it's not galvanized. So uh, this is 18 inches long. I couldn't find anything shorter. I also already had this uh, one and a half inch PVC. I bought some more hardware to make this work. I bought this one and a half inch bend. This is a one and a half down to one inch reducer. This goes in to this elbow like can kind of almost fit snugly in there. This here is a hole saw that I bought from an estate sale before I even intended to make this foundry. It is one and a half inches. This one fits perfectly. See how it's covering up the threads there. Kale wool that I bought from CM Ceramics, literally an inch thick. When you squeeze it down as much as you can, it gets down to about half the thickness. Uh, for anyone that wants to compare the product that they purchased against this one, I'm really tempted to use this just as it is. I have to do a little Frankensteining here and over here. Mark two inches off the bottom. I want a two inch layer of plaster and sand. Create a scaffold for the crucible to sit on. So I'm gonna do three parts of sand, three parts of plaster, two and a half parts of water. This weighs three pounds, seven ounces. Got my sand and plaster. Pre-mixed a little bit. I'm gonna throw in the water. Mix, mix. Some of it's going in here. A little goes in. A little bit more.
I'm having trouble getting through with this whole saw. It's not biting into the metal. And I even tried drilling some smaller holes. So, uh, if I can't get the whole saw to work, I may just drill a bunch of holes everywhere and cut it out. Hole saw didn't work too good, so I did drill a bunch of holes, but hey, whatever works. I was hoping to get a level surface, but it's not, so we may have to cut off the top portion. Smooth. That feels so smooth. This goes right in there. That's where my crucible is going to sit, and charcoal will be lined around it, and it's going to melt my metal. I hope. No hole saw. So we're cutting some squares or diamonds. What are you going to call it? Apparently binder clips are made out of steel. We're going to find out. One pound, 15.1 ounces. Got some charcoal in here. Yesterday, one of the embers fell in the pool. 